done. Do you understand me? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Brownlee and Mr. Brownlee and Ms. Baumgarten, this is not a time to be sending little hearts to each other or anything like that. Do you understand me? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yes, ma'am. Right. Are you ready to go on um, on the two jailers? Yeah, I'm actually just getting another file for uh, Mr. Brown Lake. He had two cases. Then uh, Miss Turner, I didn't see. Um, she, Ms. Turner's um, next after uh, Miss Bonner. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm grabbing a file. Right. Thank you. All right, and Miss Clay. Let's go to handle the two jailers first, and then I'll handle the other. Uh, We're always in the uh, entertainment, Judge. Haley one is Mr. Zellnick, so that one's next, but then I want to look yeah. at that uh, Girardi one. Okay. Uh, By the way, you're on the work up for court and school if you got another slot. Okay. Okay. Listen, Mr. Brownlee and Ms. Baumgarten, stop giving, sending each other kissy faces or smiles or anything like that. Knock it off. Fair. <laughs> You take this in to that, please. Thank you. Uh, the city of Wyandotte versus Lynn Baumgarten, 231389, and the matter of Lynn Baumgarten, 222315. And Good. appearance counsel. Good morning, Your Honor. Chris Prashemke bringing up my client. This time we extend to the matter being heard via Zoom. All right, thank you. And Ms. Baumgarten, your name, please. Okay. And counsel, today is a date scheduled for a probation violation as well as a pretrial. And do you, you have an opportunity to speak to the prosecuting attorney in these matters? I did. Uh, one housekeeping issue, Your Honor. I am uh, also representing David Brownlee and Hillary Turner. I consulted with them, but I now on the record. Uh, Ms. Baumgarten, do you have any issue with me representing your co two co-defendants in this case? No, I don't. Your Honor, ready to proceed. My, we did solidify a plea agreement on the original case. We are also ready to address the violation of probation. Okay. Ma'am, please raise your right hand. Tommy swear from the testimony about skin this matter be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ms. Bomber, yes. do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give this matter be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. And counsel, if you could please place the plea on the record. Yes, Your Honor, my client is prepared to tender a guilty plea to count one um, with the understanding that count two and three would be dismissed. All right, and ma'am, you heard the plea that was placed on the record, correct? Okay. As to assaulting, resisting, obstructing a police officer, how do you plead? Guilty. And you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Correct. And you understand all of those rights? Yes, I do. You also understand that by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights? Yes, I do. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court, any other court, or administrative agency? Yes, I understand. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea? Yes, I do. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. 
All right, Council, you can please part of your plan. I would like to take your attention back to September 6, 2023. Were you located in the city of Wyandotte? Yes, I was. All right, at some point you came in contact with uh, a police officer, correct? Correct. And when a police officer gave you a verbal command, you did not comply to his order. Is that accurate? Yes, that is accurate. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied that he is knowing and volunteering factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to count one, dismiss counts two and three for the plea agreement. And um, counsel, as to the probation violation, it's alleged that your client um, violated probation. Your client's currently on probation for possession of controlled substance. And it's alleged that your client failed to submit to drug testing on July 5th, July 7th, and August 2nd. They have a drug test on August 15th. Oh, I'm sorry, her drug test on August 15th indicates she's in cocaine. Failed to submit to a drug test as ordered on September 5th and failed to attend her probation visits on July 11th. And as to those violations, counsel? Your Honor, my client is aware that she could have a hearing contesting these violations. That will not be necessary. All right, Ms. Baumgarten, you're still under oath. And as to the violations. How do you plead? Guilty. And um, you understand all of your rights as it relates to probation violation hearing, correct? Correct. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea, correct? Correct. <laughs> As to the, uh, um, you understand by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving your right to a contested hearing in this matter. Yes, I know. You also understand what the possible penalty is in this manner. I'm sorry? Yes, I do. You understand in this matter that the recommendation is for probation be revoked, case closed without improvement, $50 probation violation fee, and 45 days jail. Do you understand that, correct? Yes, I know. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea? Yes. Has anybody promised or anything threatened you or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right, counsel, if you could please write to your client. Yes, I'd like to direct your attention to terms and conditions of your bond. Did you fail to comply with the testing as ordered? Okay. Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, specifically, I'm sorry, you missed you're, testing. You're, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she was breaking up. Can you please say that again, ma'am? Yes. Specifically, you missed test on July 5th, July 7th, July, excuse me, and September 5th, correct? I was in the hospital for. So you did miss testing, though, for, correct? Yeah, I, correct. And then on one of the tests, specifically August 15th, you did test positive for cocaine, correct? Correct. And you did miss a scheduled probation meeting on July 11th. Is that accurate? Correct. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied that the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violation. And um, counsel asks the sentence, we can handle the sentencing on the probation violation. And then we can schedule the sentencing on the pretrial that we just held, uh, that was just resolved. Uh, but let's handle the sentencing on the probation violations first, please. Your Honor, possible. Um, we would respectfully request to have the sentencing put on the next court date of her uh, sentencing after she gets an updated PSI. I discussed with her the notion of potentially doing jail time opposed to probation. She indicated that she still would like an opportunity to demonstrate compliance in probation. The recommendation is jail time right now, Judge. I just ask that uh, sentencing be uh, put on the next court date that she has sentencing so it could be all done in one global resolution. All right. All right, let's set these matters for sentencing then on. Well, you're not back for a while, Mr. Shumke. We could do October 16th uh, or we could do next Thursday, September 28th. Uh, judge, I mean, I, since my client is in custody, 
the uh, an earlier date certainly would be preferred. Uh, so the 28th would, would work. Okay. All right, let's do the 28th at 9 a.m. Oh, no, no. Bond and conditions will continue in 231389. And as to the bond on 222315, the court's going to indicate $5,000, 10% bond. All right, and then, um, ma'am, I'm going to figure out how we are doing this PSI. So we're going to go off the record for a quick moment. Um, you ready on Mr. Brownlee? I am, Your Honor. Okay. And then when we're done with Mr. Brownlee, I will uh, put, I'll have you go in a breakout room with um, Ms. Turner. Thank you, Judge. Okay. And um, can we please make sure Mr. Goldpaw is here and ready to go on Ms. Girardi as soon as we're done with these two? All right. We are on the record in the matter of the City of Wine Upper, David Brownlee, 231388. And two, three, one, three, six, nine, A, B, C, D, and E. And counsel, your appearance, please. Your Honor, Good morning, Your Honor. Mr. Shemke, bring me up my client's time with sent to the man being hurt. Okay, thank you. And um, Mr. Brownlee, your name, please. My name is David William Brownlee, Your Honor. All right, thank you. And today is the date scheduled for an arraignment. On two three one three six nine A B C and D, um, arraignment pre trial it looks like, and then the two three one three eight eight is set for pre trial. Correct. Okay. And counsel, uh, which one do you handle? Which one would you like to handle first? Mr. Shanky, oh. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I had an opportunity to review the matter. We were able to solidify a plea agreement on one case and then schedule uh, the arraignment to be, well, waive the arraignment, formal reading, stand mute, and then adjourn for discovery purposes. All right. So on the 23 matter, the 1369 matter, the court will waive the formal reading, enter a plea of not guilty for purpose of the arraignment. <clears throat> and let's see. Oh. Okay. I don't have you back on a Thursday until October 24th. I mean, a Tuesday, which actually probably wouldn't be a bad thing since Mr. Shunky, you're, you're okay, you lost him now. Can you just have him jump in here um, in person, please? He's oh, now he's back in the breakout room. Okay. Well, this is just an audio um, issue. I know we were going over dates. I'm ready to proceed, Judge. Okay, and um, so counsel, you, the last, next time you're here is until October 24th. Judge, on the case I'm asking for a discovery, Judge, it's a uh, driving related case and I'm not seeking body cam. So I would ask that it be moved to the 28th. I believe that's ample time for me to get uh, the proper discovery. It's come very quick uh, lately. Okay, well, so, okay. I, I can either do this for, well, the next time you're here on a Tuesday is until October 24th. Judge, it's uh, a date. If you'd like, if there's a day that Mr. Westmoreland's there, I can coordinate with him. Uh, this is not an overly complicated case. We could do that on the seventh, the tenth, the seventeenth. Either October, third, well, either one of those days we have a jury trial scheduled, so we could do October third or October seventeenth. Not the third, Judge. I unfortunately have a bench trial in person in Waterford, but seventeenth uh, would work. Yeah. At what time works for you, counsel? 9 a.m. The first uh, early state time is always preferable, Judge. Okay, so we can do 8 30 a.m. that day. Okay, and um, as to, I'll address that on this matter in just a moment. Um, as to the 231388 counsel, Your Honor, my client would be tendering a plea to count one with the understanding count two and three would be dismissed. Mr. 
Mr. Brownlee, please raise your right hand. Uh, Ms. Murray from the testimony about the witness standing the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, you heard the plea that your attorney placed on the record, correct? I have. And uh, as to count one, resisting, assaulting, obstructing an officer, how do you plead? Guilty. You've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? I have. And you understand all of those rights? I do. And you understand that by entering into a plea, you will be waiving some of those rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights? I do. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court, any other court or administrative agency, correct? Unequivocally. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea? Correct. And has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? Negative. And counsel, if you can please start dear your client, please. First part to um, I'm going to plead, Mr. Brownlee, you understand that I am representing the co-defendants in this matter, uh, Lynn Baumgarten and Hillary Turner. Do you have any problem with me representing uh, you as well? No, sir. All right. Directing your attention back to September 6, 2023, were you in the city of Wyandotte? I was. All right. At some point, you came in contact with a uh, police officer, correct? I did. And a police officer gave you a verbal command and you did not immediately comply with his order. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Satisfied, Your Honor. All right. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. And the court will accept your plea. To count one, dismiss count two and three for the plea agreement. We're going to schedule this matter for sentencing on October 17th at 8.30 a.m. Mr. Brownlee, I already told you to stop making uh, faces or signals to Ms. Baumgarten. It also applies true to Ms. Turner. I'm not, Your Honor. I'm watching your body language, sir. That would suggest otherwise. I'm simply, I'm simply looking at the mirror myself. All right, counsel, um, the bond and conditions are going to continue on 231388 and as to bond on the other matter. Your Honor, my client does indicate that he does have lodging for himself as well as uh, his two co-defendants. Uh, he can reside with his parents. My understanding is he has a strong family support system. So we're respectively requesting any leniency when determining an appropriate bond. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Well, the court will know that Mr. Brownlee's bond on the 231388 matter, $10,000, 10% bond, GPS tether not to possess or consume any alcohol or drugs unless prescribed. Sir, please refresh my recollection. Do you work? I'm sorry? Do you work? Yes, I do. And where's that? I own my own business. What type of business, sir? It's a, a, paint, a paint repair company, Roadrunner Mobile Auto Paint Repair. All right. The court is going to indicate in this matter, based upon the charges, the fact that there's a pending case as well. This offense is alleged to have occurred about four days before the offense that Mr. Brownlee just pled guilty to. And um, the court's going to indicate a $10,000, 10% bond. They got your release, sir. You're not to possess too many alcohol or drugs. And in the event you release GPS tether through the Wayne County Jail. And what the court's going to do, sir, as well, is I'm going to find out when we have to set this for a PSI. It'll probably be a phone-in 
right, let's go off the record in this matter. Um, is there a deputy right near you, sir? No. <laughs> All right. Can you um, can you go to the the door area or the window there to see if the deputy can um, can step on the screen, please? It doesn't appear that there is one here. If you can hold on. To one. Okay, Deputy, on um, Mr. Bradley, is there, should, can we do maybe 8.30 tomorrow for the um, PSI for him as well on the phone? Or Judge DeSanto, we'll have him at 8.45. As soon as Ms. Uh, um, Gard is done, we'll have Brownlee for PSI. All right, I'll make that note. And also, Your Honor, if we're going to do Turner as well, we can put her at third. Okay, thank you. All right, and then uh, Mr. Chunky, I do have the uh, discovery order on that matter as well. And then uh, I will, uh, if you can go in your breakout room with Ms. Turner, that'd be great. Good. All right, thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Bradley, I'm not even sure why you're back on the screen. For sure, not to make googly eyes at anybody. You were waiting to speak to the officer. I already did. I spoke to him and we have you scheduled already. So you're all set. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. You as well. Uh, Ms. Turner. Are you ready, Ms. Turner, Mr. Sunke? I'm here. Okay. Do you have the. Um, all right. This is on the record in the matters of. The City of Wyandotte versus Hillary Turner, 232029, 231966, 231370 A and B, and 231390. Good morning, Your Honor. Christopher Shemke appearing on behalf of my client. We are prepared to proceed and consent to the matter being heard via Zoom. One housekeeping issue. Miss, you have no problem uh, with the fact that I represent your two co-defendants. Is that accurate? Correct. We are ready to proceed, Judge. Okay. Okay, Ms. Turner, that didn't come out very well. Can you say that again, please? I have no problem with that, Your Honor. Okay, so two, three, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Turner, your name for the record, please. Hillary Turner. All right, 231966 is up for a free trial today. 231370 is up for um, arraignment free trial. And then we have, Two three two zero two nine is up for free trial, and so is two three one three nine zero. Okay, so two three one three seven zero A and B is arraignment free trial. So let's handle the arraignment on that. Let's start with that one. Is the arraignment will wait for more reading? My client stands me up. All right, the court will wait the formal reading. Enter plea of not guilty for purpose of the arraignment. And then as to the pre-trial on all these matters, counsel. Well, as to that pre-trial, uh, starting with the case that was just arraigned on, my client's going to be tendering a guilty plea to count one, allowing a license with the understanding that count two would be dismissed and she'd be pleading responsible to a civil infraction disruptive behavior. Uh, as to cases 23-2029 and 23-1966, she's going to be tendering a guilty plea to the waste misdemeanor in exchange for dismissal of 1966. And then as to 231390, she'll be tendering a guilty plea to count one with the understanding that count two and three be dismissed. Okay, and 13966 is being nolly passed, correct? Correct, Your Honor. Okay. All right, please raise your right hand. You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony about to give this man to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. You heard the plea that your attorney placed on the record, correct? Yes, ma'am. 
on 231370 A and B, as to the count of allowing a licensed driver to drive, how do you plead? Okay. As to the civil infraction of disruptive behavior, <coughs> how do you plead? Okay. As to case 231390, as to the charge of obstructing, resisting, and assaulting an officer, how do you plead? Okay. As to 232029, accumulation of waste, how do you plead? Guilty. You've had an opportunity to review your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Correct. And you understand all of those rights? Yes, I do. You also understand that by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of those rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights. I'm sorry, what was that? You understand by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of your rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights. Yes, I do. You also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court or any other court or administrative agency. Correct. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea? Yes, I do. All right. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No, they have not, Your Honor. All right. And counsel, if you can please budget your client. Um, I don't know which one you want to start with. I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. Ms. Turner, as to case 23-1390, were you in the city of Wyandotte on September 6, 2023? Yes, I was. And at some point you came in contact with the police officer. Is that accurate? That's correct. And the police officer gave you a verbal command and you immediately did not comply with his orders. Is that accurate? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea as to <clears throat> count one on that matter. As to case 23-2029, Ms. Turner, were you in the city of Wyandotte on August 21st, 2023? Yes, I was. What did you do on that date and time to make you guilty of the miscellaneous misdemeanor of waste? Um, I received a couple tickets for the accumulation of waste. I received a couple warnings and we tried to clean it up, but we didn't get it done in time. Satisfied, Your Honor. Which resolved in a ticket. That's fine, Ms. Turner. That's it. Satisfactory. Thank you. The court is also satisfied. The plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea as to that matter. All right. As to case 23 1370 A and B, Ms. Turner, were you in the city of Wyandotte on September 2nd, 2023? Yes, I was. All right. And at that date and time, were you in a vehicle with a friend of yours, David Brownlee? Yes, I was. All right, Mr. Brownlee was driving a vehicle, and to your knowledge, he didn't have a license. Is that accurate? That's correct. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to count A and the amended count B of disruptive behavior. And counsel will schedule these matters for sentencing. I believe, did we do October 17th for the other ones? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so let's keep that all, let's keep it all for October 17th at 8.45 a.m. All right, bonding conditions are going to continue on 231390 and as to 232029, the bond will continue on that matter as well. And the court will state on 231370A that that will be a $5,000 personal bond. Your Honor, just to, to reflect on bond, my client has been unable to make bond and is still in custody. It's my understanding that due to the car accident that happened in September, she sustained a serious injury to her arm, a broken arm that does require surgery. So any consideration and leniency with her bond would be greatly appreciated. Um, additionally, to having her 
case marked medical. Thank you, Judge. The court will um, mark file medical. The court is going to continue the bond as is, as defendant has a plethora of cases that um, we had to resolve today. And she has not uh, one charge that she has had. I understand that some of these matters are being dismissed um, as a global resolution, but Ms. Turner has some, um, apparently some issues with following instructions of uh, law enforcement or not instructing. The court wants to also make sure Ms. Turner is going to be appearing in court. And so the court's going to continue the bond and conditions on 231390. The court communicated personal bonds on the other matters. The court did is marking the file medical. And ma'am, you're going to have a PSI completed tomorrow morning at 9.15 a.m. via landline. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be off the record. Okay.